going to share a personal story with you guys. Um, and just a side note, I'm outside, it's gorgeous out here, and because I'm a small YouTuber and I just kind of started, um, the sun is like my best source of lighting. And uh, sometimes I think about it, I wish I would have started sooner because I've always wanted to do it. <laughs> but I'm so happy to be here now and to feel as though um, I'm growing this family, right? And I'm going to be a part of this thing that is larger than myself. As I speak to you guys right now, I'm incredibly stressed out and it's windy out here. I'm not crying or anything, but it's just, it's just like the wind that's getting to me. But as I sit here talking about stress relief with you guys right now, I'm stressed beyond belief. Um, actually, since I started YouTube, since I decided to uh, get away from corporate and start my own thing to actually feel like I am making a difference in people's lives. So um, getting online and actually opening up to you guys and kind of showing that side of me. Um, and, and showing you guys every side of me and making the videos and trying to be on schedule with those videos and the editing, everything. It's so stressful. I'm so stressed out and it's so much work. <laughs> it's so much work, but um, it's totally worth it. Um, but uh, yeah, since I decided to leave, uh, it's been something totally different. Um, but I am still a psychology major and I'm in counseling and so these are topics that we talk about all the time and I think are very important for us to discuss and just kind of explore the options that we have and how to actually reduce stress. Recognizing the symptoms of stress. So for example, some emotional sim symptoms of stress could be if you are um, irritated more often than usual, uh, that would be one. Um, if you find that you're having a lot more mood swings than usual, or if you find that you are a lot sadder and like a lot more down than usual. Um, the symptoms that I tend to get the most and the way that I know that I'm stressed are physical symptoms. And I think that most people, they know they're stressed because they start feeling it physically. So uh, some of the ones that I'm currently going through right now is lack of sleep. I literally, I, I'm literally getting like maybe three to four hours of sleep at night. So I'm not sleeping a, a lot or enough hours. Um, uh, actually, losing my temper so I find that my patience is a lot shorter when I'm stressed out I'm less able to handle situations that I should be able to handle uh, even if I don't want to be in that particular situation so I have a, a, a shorter a shorter temper and so I get angrier uh, quicker that's another one for me so I guess this, these are both physical and behavioral uh, symptoms so I notice a lot of changes in my behavior when I'm stressed out uh, I start eating less for me some people it's eating more when they're stressed out they tend to um, compensate for that by eating a lot more I eat less uh, and I'm not eating enough so they're both pretty I mean kind of want to be in a, in a happy middle spot, middle, middle ground. So cognitive symptoms, so so uh, things like difficulty uh, paying attention or concentrating on any one task or one thing uh, or having cir circular uh, thoughts, that's one that happens to me a lot, especially at night when I'm not able to sleep. My mind just keeps going and going and going. And then I just end up getting up and uh, not being able to sleep. So those are some cognitive symptoms to be aware of. A lot of, a lot of us know when we're getting stressed and we know when we're stressed and we start feeling 
happens there. It's like windy out here, right? So the struggle. Uh, and we start feeling a lot more pressure. Uh, and a lot of times that's because, you know, we're less able to deal with everything that comes at us on a daily basis. We have less energy to deal with it. We're not as motivated as we could be or should be. So um, that's another thing. Now, the question is then becomes, what do we do about reducing stress and reducing our stress? We take deep breaths. So I try to take a minute or two, sit down. So if you're stressed right now, just take a minute or two with me, sit down and just take a deep breath. And release it out slowly and just kind of keep doing that keep repeating that and just release slowly uh, and I do that a couple of times as long as necessary especially when I feel overwhelmed if I feel like a, a lot of things are coming at me at the same time uh, I, I tend to just kind of take a breather pause everything like everything just kind of needs to pause and, uh, and keep in mind guys that God has three answers for any situation in every day that we um, kind of live through in any situation that we're in the first is yes the second is not now and the third is I have something better so try to remind yourself of that you know whatever it is that you might believe in whether it's God or a greater being um, remind yourself of that the, those are the, usually the answers because when one door closes another one will usually open right afterwards and so there are always opportunities uh, that you can grab a hold of and, and, and hold on to uh, so that's what I remind myself of especially now with this transition because I come from corporate and I was making a really really decent amount especially for my age uh, but I wanted to feel like I was making more of an impact and so this is something that I really wanted to uh, do for myself so remind yourself of that and if things feel overwhelming just pause everything sit down and take deep breaths and breathe, breathe in and breathe out just cut out caffeine completely because caffeine uh, actually uh, increases your hormone levels and so you uh, it kind of increases the intensity at which you're feeling stressed and a lot of us what we do is when we're stressed in order to kind of keep that energy up or that feeling of having energy up we tend to con consume even more coffee and that's the opposite of what we should be doing you need to reduce your consumption of caffeine uh, a lot of times it comes in the form of coffee that a lot of us like to drink coffee and you really need to either cut that out completely for the time being and replace that with water or something healthier um, or reduce it drastically uh, but I know like a lot of us in order to keep functioning um, and keep feeling like we're functioning at like an optimal strength we rely on that um, I personally don't drink coffee but I drink other things that I've had to cut out because they do have caffeine in it so that, that's another thing that I tend to like to do when I'm feeling stressed. Writing everything down. Uh, because what's happening now that I'm uh, a little bit more stressed, trying to figure everything out, the logistics out, uh, YouTube has changed its rules, and just everything, the impact that I want to make, uh, and trying to connect with you, you guys, um, is my mind is always running. Uh, and so at night, one of the things that actually keeps me from going to sleep is that I can't stop thinking. And my mind is going up and down and up and down and I just keep thinking about all these things. I, what are its ideas that I have for videos or next steps or what to do about this or what to do about that. Now that I'm kind of um, working for myself in a way, I write it down. I write all those thoughts down. Because here's the thing, Mayday family. Uh, the more you try to avoid those thoughts and not think about it uh, and suppress it, for example, if you're trying to go to sleep and your mind keeps going crazy, the worse it gets. It's just not going to stop. You're not going to be able to sleep and your mind is just going to keep going and going. So you need an outlet for that. Uh, and my
my outlet is writing everything down, lighting candles. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of candles in my apartment, in my little apartment. It's all lined up. I have so many candles and I always get new ones even though I'm not done with the ones that I already have. So lighting candles is really therapeutic for me and if you've never done it, you could try it and see if that's something that you would like and that's something that would help reduce your stress. I love scented candles in the way that they smell, so I have a lot of candles and I find that to be really, really helpful. Another thing that I do do is essential oils. I have a lot of essential oils and I actually have an oil diffuser. Uh, I put some water in there and I put the oil and it just kind of, you know, fills the air with like scented smells. I know not a lot of people or a lot of people might not like the strong scented smells so you can opt to go with like candles instead but uh, I do both because they both work for me and they are both relaxing for me so that's another thing that I do. I make sure to work out at least three times a week. Uh, so today as I'm shooting this video it's one of my workout days so I'm gonna go to the gym a little bit later on and run a couple of miles and just do a brief workout now this is hard for me sometimes because when I'm working and caught caught up in uh, the flow of the day I don't want to interrupt that I feel like I have so much to get done and you know the first thing that get cut off a lot of times is exercise and uh, so I, I make it a priority in my life to exercise at least three times a, a week because what I've come to understand is that health is number one and then everything else comes after and, an, and exercising is a very important part of staying healthy and I'm number one taking care of myself is the first thing first and foremost and then everything else comes after I'll be able to be more effective more efficient so that's what I do I try to make sure to work out a minimum of three times a week I also like the benefits of you know having the shape that I want and feeling more confident in my body uh, because I do work out and I do put in uh, the work for that hot bubble baths I love taking baths and I buy all type of things to kind of like make it really nice and I make a whole event out of it when I do take baths I actually bought it's kind of like a table so when I'm in the bath I can put it on top and I have my laptop and I'm watching shows that I love to watch and then I might have a glass of wine I make it all it's a whole event guys when I take baths so that is really uh, something that helps me relax and helps me deep stress when I'm feeling stressed out is hot bubble baths and I put like um, certain soaps in there and things like that to make it really really nice and really really pretty and when I just when I get in and I just soak in it's really relaxing for me I haven't uh, had a chance to do that in a couple of weeks but that's another thing that I tend to do quite often as well take on a new hobby uh, I recently took on playing the piano because I think it would be really really awesome to know how to how to actually play the piano so that's that's a new hobby for me uh, so take on a new hobby that you think you would enjoy and one thing that I really want you guys to know and remember and always keep in mind is that you can take on a new hobby start and stop start and stop a lot of people feel bad because when they take on a new hobby and then they do it for a couple of weeks or a couple of days they they end up stopping and then they're just like oh well it didn't work or whatever no if you like doing it it's okay to start and stop and like if something happens and you just didn't keep doing it then a couple of weeks later you're like oh I did like doing that and you pick it back up again and that's how you know you kind of progress and eventually hopefully integrate that into your lifestyle but it's okay to start and stop it's, there's nothing wrong with that uh, don't let it discourage you from trying that or continuing to do that like every time you remember oh I did used to do that to relieve some stress and I did like doing it so I'm gonna go do it again just keep doing it so it's it's okay to start and stop those are all the tips that I have in order to help you guys relieve some stress and what helps me relieve some stress especially now in this time period for myself I'm so glad to have the support of the subscribers that I currently have I try not to uh, focus on that just because 
um, I'm so appreciative of that support and um, so those are some of the things that I do in order to relieve some of my stress especially now that I'm really stressed out at this time period during this time I just do take it one minute one hour one day at a time and I mean that in the most literal way possible because what happens is we have a lot of things coming at us at once sometimes and we feel like everything is a priority and everything needs to get done and we need to do everything slow down when that starts happening pause push pause take a couple of deep breaths and pick one thing take it one at a time right pick what's most important what or what do you want to start with what do you feel like starting with and start with that uh, and you know once you're done with that move on to the next thing because there's always going to be a lot of things and you just have to start with one you can't necessarily do everything and when you start with one you find that you know you get more done because once you're done with that you can do the next thing it happens to me like every day thank you guys for joining me today i so appreciate you guys i appreciate you taking the time to actually watch this video subscribe comment below let me know your thoughts and i will talk to you guys soon bye bye